Good Sunday morning. It's August 2nd, and I'm already hard at work at 6 o'clock in the morning. Did you know the average person will spend about 150,000 hours at work in their lifetime? That's about 40% of our waking lives spent at work. Ken Costa, in his book, God at Work, asks, Is God interested in work? Many people do not see God as a 24-7 God, but as a withdrawn actor confined to a Sunday show with a declining audience. There is a widespread view that God and work simply don't mix. The competitive, cutthroat demands of the working world are seen as the obvious enemy of Christian compassion and love. But God, who created and sustains the world, is also the God of the workplace. If the Christian faith is not relevant in the workplace, it's not relevant at all. As for me, I want my work to have lasting value. Psalm 90 observes that even though your life is short, it's possible for your work to outlive you. What you do can have lasting value. The psalm ends on a note of hope. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us, establish the work of our hands. Yes, establish the work of our hands. The ultimate value of your work is a reflection of the fact that God too is a worker. The psalmist says, let your work, the signs of your power, be revealed to your servants and your glorious majesty to their children. We tend to think that things like our work, which happen when we're here on earth, are nothing more than temporary, transient. The Bible paints a different picture. When Jesus returns, God is not going to obliterate the earth. He's going to renew it, redeem it, and liberate it from its bondage and decay. Human work is going to be purified. It's going to be redeemed so that it is free from sin, just as we will be free from sin. But work will certainly be a part of the new creation. And this is why it's right to ask God to establish the work of our hands. Lord, may your favor rest upon me today. Establish the work of my hands for me. May my work outlive me and have a lasting impact for good. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.